Good afternoon. <coughs> Thanks for being here. I <coughs> will try to contribute to the agency side of the debate uh, of this conference, uh, building on the notion of uh, aspirations and uh, re revisiting it through a narrative uh, analysis uh, of a research I studied on uh, immigrant uh, domestic workers and care workers in my country, uh, in, in Italy. My point is that uh, a focus on uh, aspiration in critical terms can be helpful to make more sense of the subjective basis of uh, migration and most notably of migrants' uh, view and expectations towards their own fu future. Uh, to start with, I uh, propose an understanding of uh, aspiration as uh, ways of uh, representing and desiring uh, at the same time one's personal, family, and community future with strong situated uh, and uh, relational ba basis. By revisiting this um, archive of life uh, of, bio of biographic in 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 interviews, I try to simply compare what in my grand's uh, account was the core, the focus of their uh, uh, aspirations in the in the past when they left their counties, as opposed to what emerges in that from their narratives in terms of, of their current views and uh, feelings towards their own future. So to put it uh, bluntly, then versus now, which may be helpful to uh, appreciate the future also at the level of its uh, subjective and um, personalized basis and to get some glimpse on the one hand on how uh, uh, aspirations affect, manifest themselves in migrants' life tra uh, trajectories and at the same time on how they are uh, affected, changes, devised, possibly dovetailed over time as a result of the immigrant experience uh, itself. Uh, as I found out, uh, Aspiration has a quite remarkable intellectual hi history in, sorry, in social sciences over the last uh, half century, at least, also in very, I would say, fragmented terms, uh, um, coming up sometimes here and there in discipline uh, realms and so on. The main uh, area of research for this kind of notion has possibly to do with uh, education, with the transition from education to uh, employment, with the study of uh, young uh, gener generations and how their uh, constellations of uh, attitudes, uh, views, and motivations towards their own future may affect, together with other effects on their actual uh, achievements in uh, education first and in employment as a, la a later stage, uh, we can find the a range of way of conceptualizing uh, 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 aspirations depending on the disciplinary realm, whether social say, psychology or um, sociology and so on. Uh, the understanding that uh, seems to me more helpful here is one that frames them as a personal ability to believe in one's chance of success in a way, in a, in a way given the, the perception one has of uh, his or her life uh, circumstances. What I have found in, uh, specifically in migration studies is that, apart from some major exceptions which I have also tried to refer to here, there is still apparently some potential to um, build further and deeper into the heuristic value of this kind of uh, notion. One of the linkages that uh, could still have some more room to ex 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 expand on has, 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 has to do, in my view, with, with the connection with the apadurized notions of capacity to uh, uh, aspire, or also this is uh, by no means the only link that could be made. Uh, what is more striking to me is, uh, however, that much of this literature does not seem so attentive as it could be to the temporal dimensions of uh, aspirations, that, that is how they evolve over time, but most of all on their interdependence with the, with the future, assumed in a perspective of, uh, so, of social times, of um, 
personal uh, social constructions uh, following some contributions of uh, Luhmann, Merton, and other major sociologists. The interesting thing of these notions is to me the capacity to include, in the same word, the future uh, orientation <laughs> of individual a a agency. Uh, the point being that la labor migration itself can be appreciated as an, as an aptant, whatever the output to uh, enact one's capacity to uh, aspire as a way to achieve something more or better, whatever the way of framing it, and uh, building on a view more or less tacitly on, on the view of a future that is something open to progress, to manipulation, to an uh, extent to achieving something be better. So uh, through this archive of qualitative I I interviews, I try to interrogate uh, aspirations as a mirror of a certain view of the future, as an elicitor of one's individual family community-based desires for uh, desirable develop developments to uh, 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 occur in the future through the crucial mediation of uh, migration. My case study involves a very particular Im Im immigrant pro profile uh, which has to do with uh, domestic workers in, the, in my, my country uh, through a um, set of uh, qualitative interv in, in, interviews, so a very specific profile in terms of gender, employment, niche, uh, segregation, including the choice of, of mine. I just focused on, on those among them that had a relatively con significant length of stay in the country. That is uh, five years of, or, or more. What I tried to do was to see how, uh, from their present conditions of living, a focus on what they desired, what they aspired to in, in, in the past, and what they do now can say of their own life uh, conditions and prospects as uh, my, my migrants. Uh, so, despite the range of limitations that are inherent in uh, this uh, kind of attempt, I still found it uh, wor worth, uh, worthwhile as a way to indirectly uh, explore how uh, aspirations, uh, coalition, uh, join and interact with e each other into different uh, constellations depending on the migration stage, the life trajectories, and the broader structure of uh, opportunity. In the, in, the, in, the, in the terms of Luhmann, I try to uh, compare against each other in these narratives uh, migrants' past, future, that is, their views in the past of the future as they were emerging in the past, and present futures. It, it is how differently futures is framed in a way or another now or anyway at the moment of uh, in, uh, interview during uh, Immigration. I try to put it somehow in graphic terms, although it is a very rough attempt to depict the whole picture. My point was that while I focus only on present, on the conditions of the uh, in, in, in interviews, I can gain on the, on the one hand some glimpse on how uh, aspirations evolve over time. Uh, in interacting with the migrants, so to speak, objective conditions in shaping their own lives. But at the same time, how present conditions, to some extent, and most of all, future views, views of the future, affect migrants' very real actions here uh, and now. Assuming migration itself with this blue line, at least in these cases of long distance mig migration between uh, far countries and, and so on, as a major watershed, as a start of uh, mig mig migration that affects also how uh, asp aspirations are, re are reframed uh, over time. Uh, I try to focus on these in interviews first, judging. Uh, trying to make sense of what they suggest of how, at the start of migration, future, what will come next, was seen in the past, on that very moment. Here, the minimum point that, that has been highlighted by much literature has to do with the 
uh, widespread uh, in theorized perception of a lack of a future, indeed, uh, there and then, in the countries of origin, as a commonality be between otherwise uh, very different and uh, articulated life history of migrants uh, down themselves. The point is, however, that migration is critical to the extent that uh, it allows, by displacing uh, aspiration elsewhere, and possibly in some future time, to keep cultivating them in a significant way rather than, de than depressing uh, them. Uh, Italy then has a range of, uh, of characteristics that may be different from other more attractive in a way uh, specific country, but the key point here is, is, is that while this uh, aspiration was typically an individual or family-based choice, it was simultaneously embedded in much uh, uh, broader, um, how could I say, networks of feelings of uh, common ways of uh, seeing the future and of being uh, collectively affected in the communities of origins by past, past uh, migration backgrounds and uh, uh, records. So an individual and a collective experience in a way at the same <coughs> time. To put it very, very bluntly, what if this uh, initial uh, ways of framing the future are compared with the current one. Uh, I wouldn't delve uh, here into how much uh, aspirations are achieved or not, de depending on the um, variety of factors. The key communities, once again, uh, are the uh, future-oriented uh, aspirations as they emerge in how migrants frame their life conditions now, so to speak, are not necessarily so strong, so widespread, so positive as they were in their own accounts of the past. As far as they keep being there, they are typically more involved for this migrant fight to the homeland, to the return, whether a mythical or a real one, rather than to the uh, uh, living and working conditions in Italy that have much more an uh, instrumental character and uh, function one given also the very limited prospects for mobility, for self localization and so on and so forth. The most uh, interesting thing I found out here had not, however, uh, to do so much with the emplacement, so to speak, of the future views. So uh, not so much with where future is ex expected to take place, but with the fact that uh, the simple fact of uh, delving or reflecting of dominating somehow on the future says very much on of an actor's uh, complex view of uh, his or her migration e e ex ex experience. What was uh, interesting here was that, that on, on the one hand, for a number of uh, interviews, aspirations as framed, out, as framed now had a much more minimal pragmatic character than may than they may have been at a later stage at, at an earlier stage when leaving home but uh, more interesting and um, discomforting possibly was the the uh, emphasis on the present the apparent uh, renunciation or lack of interest or possibility or whatever to still see the future as something out there something significant to aim at that uh, uh, emerged from a minority, but still quite significant, of uh, interviews. The point was that in a number of cases, at least, what I uh, was finding was a decreasing relevance of uh, aspirations in positive terms, or if you wish, migration as also potentially a source of depressing, downward, deprived uh, 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 aspirations, or anyway, of, of, or much more negative views of the future than the notion of aspiration itself may uh, suggest. So as a very first step, I found the need already highlighted by some literature actually to uh, unpack much further the very notion of uh, aspirations in terms of what they consist of, what their contents is, whether material or immaterial benefits, whether to put it bluntly, money or a lot of other life, life aims and so on, in terms of their placement, of their uh, horizon in place and time, 
whether here or there, whether in the short or in long term, in terms of emotion and moral basis, but most crucially in terms of, I try to say it as a relational reference, whether uh, aspirations are basically for, one, for oneself or rather for others, for the next uh, gener gener generation, for the family members to come, which may also make sense in many ways of otherwise uh, very difficult life uh, conditions. In any way, what I found uh, important is to shift in, in a way from a linear view of aspirations as a monolithical concept that uh, is, uh, would be amenable, am amenable to measurement as high versus low, good or bad or uh, whatever, to a much more complex and interactive uh, constellations of different forms uh, and the reference of them, like the one I tried to map how map somehow uh, here. Uh, to approach the con uh, conclusion now, what if uh, uh, past aspirations are compared with the present ones? I tried to use a quote here that I found, find, find, found quite telling about th this state of uh, feeling. There is generally in these uh, uh, narratives a quite striking contrast between an apparently wealth of uh, or a, a strong sense of uh, aspirations down and then a much more modest, uh, pragmatic, uh, narrow-minded perhaps a set of uh, aspirations now. Uh, to put it bluntly, proactive stances then, much more uncertain and ambivalent stances now. This has to do in many ways with the characteristics of my interviewees, their life stages and, and so on, but it may has some, have something more general to say, which I try to put in the perhaps simplistic or anyway provocative idea to frame migration for this uh, immigrant office at least as a multiplier of uh, aspirations at, at the first stage, but then also a regulator or possibly a downward leveler or, of uh, them, depending also on the structure of opportunities, but more importantly, depending on the terms of, of references. If uh, the well-being of someone else is the real aim, uh, once personal aspirations are much more likely to get uh, dovetailed, adapted to negative and apparently modest, humble arrangements compared uh, with their uh, initial uh, orient, 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 orientation. I found them, on the one hand, uh, aspiration and interesting category to go through migrants' uh, reconstruction of their future, or at least of their ways of seeing, of feeling it, and of seeing their own place within it. But, importantly, I found this uh, uh, social process of sense making of future as much wider and um, mixed than the notion of uh, aspiration uh, is itself. So, as a last point, I found the uh, re uh, reflection of, uh, as of uh, on, uh, aspiration world worthwhile as an intermediate step to uh, go further, to dig further into migrant subjectives and social views of the future, including their past futures, even when they turn out to be something different from the, what they have achieved until now and from what they will achieve, hopefully, perhaps, in the future. Thanks. Thank you.